start with the city I had, was working on the other day. I just completely delete everything because I want to walk through and talk through some things. Um, <clears throat> make sure everybody knows. Knows the rules for success. My voice is quiet. Well, in OBS, it is as loud as I can get. Let me see. I have any game volume. Get some volume there. Let's see. Is there any way I can... Uh, Hmm. Nothing I can do to boost a mic output, I don't think. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I just I didn't see any game music while I was looking at the the uh that stuff too. Let's see if I can open that there. Um let's see. Open no, not the right thing. Open sound systems. Sounds. There we go. Let's see. Properties for the microphone. Let me boost that up. See how that is. Being off screen screws everything up. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I got my uh, graphics full screen. Okay. Make sure everything's set. So I'm gonna go through some. Um, rules I have that uh, with or without mods will help you with your city skylines so that is weird let me not use Google Docs for that because that was not showing up properly I wrote these out earlier I'm trying to pull them up so give me just a second Alright, so I kind of have them divided in two sections. I have them divided into what to do when you're starting your city, and then what to do when you're expanding your city. Alright, sweet. I don't know what this... Okay. Uh, control all. Nope. Go back. all I wanted bold all right <clears throat> so let me just put these on screen real quick so everybody can see uh, zoom in no that's not what I wanted all right so this is what I do on the start of every game oh don't worry right now I'm not gonna boost Make sure that recording's turned on. But this is the rules I have for City Skylines at the start of every game. I immediately pause the game. I lower all by just a 50%. Because uh, that's going to save you money. Um, do you have a note here? You may need to leave power at 100% if you opt to start with a wind turbine over a coal plant. Um, because it's going to need to work and provide um, as much power as possible uh, the, the next thing is go slow you, you know make sure you aren't just willy-nilly throwing stuff down you know plan for about 5,000 population uh, that's going to get you a whole lot of money a whole lot of things unlocked um, but if you go ahead and pre-plan when you start it will uh, definitely help you um, avoid a lot of problems because really see skylines boils down to two things one demand can you make demand for commercial can you make demand for industrial can you make demand for residential you start off with residential everybody knows that but can you turn that into commercial industrial that's a little bit easy but now if your residential is low how do you get it back that's one thing but the major thing that city skylines is about is traffic whether you want to uh accept that or not it is all mainly all about traffic because uh, if you have terrible traffic city can't grow your services can't get to people people die people get sick all these things people leave and your city dies 
So that's why you have plan for 5,000 people at the start. Uh, so make sure your roads are less likely to be um, to be congested. I also utilize both sides of the road for your on-ramps and off-ramps. So whether you're a left-hand drive or right-hand drive city, <clears throat> I utilize both sides of uh, of the road for on and off ramps and i'll show you how traffic works here in a second in city skylines without any mods um because really i actually honestly think that this game is pretty complete pretty well done without any mods the mods just make things a little nicer if you want to nitpick or have a little extra control but um i haven't used any mods for traffic up until just yesterday to test them out and i haven't really had any traffic problems um <clears throat> Uh, zone the edge of any lane, any roads that are four or greater lanes with at least one square of commercial. Uh, you could this is to avoid people parking on the side. You can also have those uh, lanes be <coughs> or those roads, sorry, they uh, be lined with grass for whatever reason. If they're lined with grass, people won't park there. Um, either way, it helps you out. <coughs> and then you want to space out and minimize connections to medium or large roads. So what I usually have is uh, two entrances to residential or four-lane avenue, and I split off um, within that you know little block or sector uh, for other residential roads. Um, your Sims, just FYI, will walk anywhere between four and eight hundred meters uh, to where they need to go, um, and so that will help you if you're, you want to use like pass and stuff, which I'll talk about uh, here in a little bit. Uh, so this is actually the next one. So before you add in the zoning, add a walking pass to connect different parts of the city. Uh, because, like I said, the Sims will walk anywhere from 400 to 800 meters. Uh, especially if when you get the encouraged biking policy uh, and you apply it to the whole city, um, Sims will be going all over the place. Uh, and that really helps reduce the traffic. And it doesn't really cost nearly as much as any other public transportation uh, that you have. Um, all right, so moving on to the next one. So focus, residential, commercial, industrial. So industrial will usually always lag behind and be the lowest. Um, and that's kind of the order you want to build in, residential, then commercial, to separate residential from industrial zoning. Um, later when you unlock offices, you can put offices right next to residential. They don't mind. But the vanilla industrial, you don't want next to residential. They're, they will complain. <clears throat> Something I uh, learned after doing some different things, watching some YouTube videos and playing around, is to use mainly one-way roads for industrial to control the traffic flow better. Uh, one one road into your block, one road out, and kind of break up your industrial blocks into smaller areas, uh, if uh, possible, um, and you know, kind of have like a about a 400 by 600 meter area for each industrial block. It may not be practical always, but it's something to shoot for. Um, then you always want to have a single loop back to the start uh, for your service vehicles. Um, you can also add a policy later to ban heavy, heavy traffic on that uh, loop back so you don't have any of the trucks using it. Um, <clears throat> so I usually like to either use really widely split highways, which I'll show you what I mean in a second, or raised highways. Um, so that I can keep my some services in the middle of the beginning, so like fire, police, uh, healthcare, anything like that, so they're not taking up too much room otherwise. Um, <clears throat> if you zone this area with the Old Town policy later when you get it, it'll keep any other vehicles from coming in there except for those services. Um, in the, and remember, this is all for the start. So in the beginning, connect your power lines in the shortest possible distance. It may not look good. You may not like it, but this will save you money. In the, in the beginning, it's all about saving you money and getting you a, a, a good start. Um, you can always go back and alter them later. Um, I don't really like how some people do, which is um, you wait for your area to build up, and they're demanding power, and they're demanding water, and they're demanding all these things until, like, is fully built up. I think that's dumb. I would rather <clears throat> deliver power instantly um, to where they're at, unless they just unless they just absolutely explode with population, um, and then just delete out the uh, the power lines later. <clears throat> just because I want to try and maintain max happiness so that my gr my city grows as fast as possible um, and as big as possible. Also, people like to connect pipes back onto themselves. So, like, imagine like you're you're starting your city in this big square. 
and they'll you'll start at the top left corner go to top right bottom right bottom left then back to the top right and so it's all fully connected in real life you know that's that's how it would work because you got to have flow everywhere but I'll show you here in a second this is what I do I just kind of like spiral it so I have that coverage and I don't waste uh, money on pipes that aren't needed <clears throat> and yeah so that that's my rules for the start of the 